so maybe we're just gonna kick an artificer and I do like the trebuchet maybe we just kick the enchantress uh it's unlikely that we can use two room words on this guy so let's just keep one maybe we start with Windhelm of Atre. We, we shouldn't play very strong units. I'm not sure what we can do because Bruver Hog is actually better than a longer round. Or at least I give a Bruver a lot of respect. I don't know. Maybe we're just gonna go with Windhelm of Atre. We gotta play Rather something. Give yourself, give yourself some popper food. Bring out the peanuts. No! I'm on the diet! No peanuts! Oh! He, he went for that. The diet is still ongoing. I'm not sure exactly how long. But we'll see. It's like three more months. Kinda. Maybe more. Oh, that's annoying. Regis Bloodlust. Look at that. Regis just completely wrecked him. Removal is so damn good. Uh, I'll just go with that. I guess I can play a trebuchet. Maybe I overcommitted. Like, having the last say doesn't matter too much, but I did use two decent cards. Diet? What's going on here? Are you overweight or light on money? Uh, I do want to be in uh, better shape a little bit. <laughs> Star I'm starving! Send me money! Oh, he's not playing anymore. I don't have to spend a lot of money on food. At least, uh... I usually don't. Some people do spend a lot of money. Food. How much you guys spend on food? Or maybe this is a boring topic, or maybe an insensitive topic. I'm just kinda curious. Maybe I'm wrong. Or what kind of foods you food you are you just gonna get? Well, I hope you eat healthy. Well, I tend to go for like uh, eggs in the morning, like an omelette. Maybe with some maybe with some veggies. Uh, lunch kind of varies. Maybe fish. Uh. Maybe something else, maybe some cheese, some some other things. Usually not eggs. I tend to eat eggs once a day. Uh, eggs for more at uh, the morning. That that's kind of okay. 40, 50 bucks a week. I gave up meat a month ago. Part-time vegan here. I was vegan for like a year because uh, for no particular reason. I, I just didn't feel like eating meat. It wasn't really a statement. Uh, let's just pass. I tend to spend like uh, 50 pounds. Like about 50 pounds. Uh, a month. For food. Uh, because that's that's enough. And if you go to a good shop, then you can we'll just uh, spend that, that much amount of money. Asses. Or you're vegan. Holy crap. Do you like it? Nigh is the time of the white frost and white. Oh, you're vegan. Hmm. The boosts. Dectoning. 
I don't care for meat that much, so I think I would be okay being a vegan. That kind of depends on, can I eat eggs? Is cheese and, and eggs allowed? Who knows? I would, I would miss those more than meat. Yeah, you love it. What do you eat? That's the biggest question, because what I find is that people who don't really grow up vegan or like didn't have like a big vegan influence in their lives, they kind of find it hard to uh, imagine or just like transition to a vegan diet, even if they wanted to, which you don't necessarily have to. Uh, you def definitely don't have to by any means. Uh, that looks decent. Your total cholesterol is 105. I don't know, how do you even measure it? <laughs> Does the doctor do it? Oh, can I eat eggs? Yes, you can. Well, yeah, eggs are totally cool. What are you doing? So... Maybe... We're gonna play on Avalok. Are you just gonna move my guy? I really hope not. Maybe we're just gonna start with the Botchling. That might draw some removal. Vegan pizzas are lovely. That sounds like uh, uh, something that uh, you would eat in hell. And my family uses 50, 60 eggs a week, so I can understand you. Yeah, I tend to go for like uh, four eggs uh, in the morning. They're pretty low in calorie. Four jotes and soy. Smash the cholesterol. Cholesterol. Uh, I like that too, but when I'm eating oats, well, you gotta like prepare it, but I do like it. I do like it quite a bit. But it tends to make me hungry. So, do you have some uh, tips for that? Because when I eat oats, it tends to be very enjoyable, Ryan! but I tend to get uh, hungry sooner. So, that's why I don't always do it. Uh, I wasn't doing it with soy. I was just, I was just doing it. I'm just doing uh, like oats with fruits. Maybe that's the problem. It's too uh, carb heavy, and there's not much protein in it. But there's also like I'm not really thinking about putting in like a piece of meat in my my oats. So there's got to be like something else. But I'm not really soy is not really part of my 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 usual things that I eat. I never shop for that. Add bananas and maple syrup. I don't know about the maple syrup. That 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 sounds like you can go overboard with that. Broccoli and spinach for the bin. I really hope that you're not talking about that in relation to oats. <laughs> Sometimes the price is too too damn high. Oof. Give a shield. Low meat the oats. It could work. I I did that one time out of desperation in the past. I ate oats with sausages. Um, it it basically tasted like how you kind of expect it to taste. So, he probably has a big boost to Sheldon Skag, so don't go crazy here. 
Do you like buckwheat, Adam? High protein gra grain, it tastes great too. Uh, I don't. That's not really something that uh, I have access to. Uh, we can play this game. These dogs have no honor. These dogs have no honor. Have you picked your leader? Yeah, I picked Dana. Then I get whooped. <gasps> so, uh, a little bit. And also, like, we're kind of mixing it up. So, time to play some me. Uh, we can play Arkfist. I think he's gonna be uh, just fine. Hmm. Ah! Fibran Oats from Fruit decreases the sugar spike from Oats and Fruit. Uh, I think it's still too high carb. I just shot down the dwarf boosts that are happening non-stop. That could be a crushing trap. In all likelihood that is a crushing trap. I had nothing for breakfast but porridge for a good six weeks now and feel tipped up. It kind of depends on how soon you're eating after Eating uh, porridge for breakfast. Try them! Machine gun man! Punch them all! He probably has something boosted pretty high. Hope it's not a Geralt. <laughs> Wait. Ah. Well, we have a decent card for last. You can get it from European shops, from local police store. Get it from the police. Alright. I don't have to go and look for a big adventure when I'm shopping. I just go to the store and buy whatever is convenient. I suppose that's true for a lot of people. And even when you go to the store, you just see like a lot of sugar and everything. So you're like, yeah, I'm not taking that. Uh, I'll take eggs. Thanks. GG. Maybe not that. Or that. Or that. Omnivore's diet can lead to multiple deficiencies. The vegan diet does have some, uh, the vegan diet done right does have some impressive uh, results from what I know. Veggie food is much healthier than animals. It's obvious, but don't believe that somebody sells you only healthy vegan food. But that's true for, uh, yeah, true for plants as well. People are just gonna sell you whatever crap you're actually gonna buy. So, if most customers are gonna buy something at a certain level, then they're just gonna sell it at that level. Um, maybe we're gonna play Windhelm of Atre. Death to the invaders! Buff him too. There's only really two things to worry about. Eat whole foods and take uh, B12 supplements. But, for example, if you had to 
I'm not sure how varied is your diet, because currently my diet is not that varied. Uh, I'm, I'm usually just going with some eggs, uh, maybe some maybe some neat, uh, meat here and there thrown in. Uh, of course, like sometimes I eat fish, but of course, like okay, I, I'm I don't really want to go into it too much. Of course, I tend to eat like uh, fruits and veggies as well, so I, I try to mix it up a little bit, but it's not extremely varied. I think. And I suppose I have a lot of experience following such a diet. Most. I thought you were nuts about food. I do like peanuts quite a bit. Uh, but maybe they're not as good. The problem with peanuts, peanuts have one problem, and I do, do love them, but they do have one problem, is that... You can just snack on them, and you might just overeat. It's very easy to overeat, because... I, I, I didn't watch my calorie consumption that that closely in the past. And currently, I watch it a lot more co closely with the intention of losing weight. And uh, losing fat, most of all. And I'm just quite surprised at how little I, I eat and sometimes just don't lose weight. Because... It is just it was just too much. Like few slices of bread with some some eggs and like a uh, uh, tuna f with like a, a can of fish with some bread and that's it. Like one day and like okay, I did that for a week. Um, that's okay. That was fine. And um, well, like kind kind of did that for a week. And uh, and I just kept my weight. Of course, the fact that I'm also working out a little bit uh, does play a role, so I'm not exactly sure. I don't really have like a, uh, the equipment to measure it, how stronger I'm getting, so uh, that of course affects my uh, weight as well. But in a way, I'm getting stronger and a little bit uh, uh, skinnier at the same time. Or maybe I'm just deluding myself, who knows. The best way is to have your own garden and own food. Uh, I had that in uh, Hungary. Well, I had that in one place and I didn't have it in another place. And it's really great. Uh, I had that environment where, you know, you can just like go out in the garden, you know, and just like, you want fresh food? You literally just walk outside, take it off the vine, and you just take it in. Done. You want eggs? You can just go out there and like, uh... Get it from the chickens, if you feel like it. If not, let, let other people do it, and just t take it out of the fridge. It's pretty sweet. And also, I couldn't kill the fucking chickens. One pussy. Wait. Yeah. Okay, I just boost that. I wasn't a huge fan of killing the animals in general. Because in Hungary there's a lot of events of like, Hey, let's kill some... Well, usually like, let's kill a pig. That's the big event. They kill the pig and make him the sausages. And people get drunk. That's basically it. But I don't really like it because I'm kind of freaked out by the... The... Smell of blood. So... So, heard this first. I am kind of have a, a slight hemophobia myself. I think that's how it's called. I believe people are different and need to seek stuff that works best for them. There's no one true diet. We are... Well, I, I need to pay attention to the game. But can we? Maybe I can just Ragnarok. Then we also play uh, trebuchets in the back, two of them. We are genetically different. Some people... Edibleize meat better, some vegetables better. It's important to stay informed though. Wow, no, that, that, what, how do you tell that? I don't know. 
Sounds like that's impossible to know. Destiny is unswerving. One thing that I had personally experienced with is I, at one point, I thought I was uh, allergic to dairy. Not allergic, maybe. Well, kind of allergic. How does it cold? God damn it. Milk allergy. How's it cold? It has a lactose intolerance. That's the one. And, uh, and as it turned out, I'm not, but at, at one time, I was actually sick when I was uh, drinking milk. So, not, not sure what the hell was that about. You got to uh, keep on a short leash. I think we gotta play. Three dumb. Awaiting your orders. Hmm. Ah! Hmm. Just go for the maximum value generation. <clears throat> we are genetically different, but psychologically the same. Unless you have a disease, there's no reason to eat differently. Uh, where do you get your info about uh, metabolizing food differently? The current research says humans are very similar genetically. Uh, that, that's what I believe as well, or like that's what I, I that's what I currently know. Uh, there's a there's a difference definitely because in the Asian countries, uh, people uh, tend to be that that's kind of what, what I was uh, why I was going toward lactose intolerance. In the Asian countries, lactose intolerance is extremely common uh, so you can basically forget that uh, drinking uh, milk but in Europe a lot of people can uh, consume milk so it is definitely correct to say that uh, we are different genetically kind of different but I don't know to what extent, so I can't be too helpful with that. Physio, not psycho. Oh, physio. Oh, God damn it. Milk is for babies. Real men drink beer. No, milk is fine. You calling me a baby? I don't usually drink milk, but. I definitely enjoy cheese, and uh, and I suppose I mostly consume it with porridge. Uh, let's just go with knighthood. Pretty lucky. Oh, me. Why? Why would you do that? Okay. We just gotta go with Selkirk. Stand and fight, Stand and fight cowards! Well, as you surely know, research about nutrition is really wide subject. By genetics, I again oversimplified. Uh, by genetics, I understood heritage. How we absorb food is directly related to uh, biome in your guts the biome although you can of course influence by your diet you mostly get from your mother so if your heritage and heritage of the bacteria in your guts is from uh, regions that were centered around eating vegetables your digestion of vegetables will be better if not it will be tougher Let's boost that guy. I just go with Prince and Sayers in the back. It doesn't seem like he has a way to damage me.
Kill them all. Punch him. All right. The dude with the monsters. He still has a baby in the fire. Uh, GG.